objects that are cursed have long captivated our imagination and sparked our curiosity. From the cursed mummy's tomb in Egypt to the deadly Hope Diamond, these objects have inspired countless tales of horror and tragedy. Some say that anyone who possesses these items will suffer from endless misfortune and misery, and there are plenty of instances of people connected to the diamond having terrible luck. Does this mean it's actually cursed? Who can say for sure? But the idea of a cursed object is potent enough to make even the most skeptical among us wonder. There is a peculiar aura around condemned objects, those cursed collectibles that seem to have a way of wreaking havoc on the lives of their owners. They are the kind of items that you stumble upon in musty antique shops or online auctions, the kind that hold a certain allure, a pull that is hard to resist. In this video, we'll explore some of the most famous and intriguing objects that are cursed, and the stories behind them. The Hope Diamond The Hope Diamond is a large blue diamond that has a long and fascinating history, and is believed by some to be cursed. According to legend, Anyone who owns or wears the diamond is cursed with bad luck, illness, and even death. One of the most famous stories associated with the Hope Diamond curse is the tale of its original owner, Jean Baptiste Tavernier. Tavernier was a French merchant who traveled to India in the mid 1600s and acquired the diamond from a local priest. According to legend, the priest cursed the diamond before giving it to Tavernier, saying that anyone who owned it would suffer great misfortune. Over the centuries, the Hope Diamond changed hands many times, and each owner seemed to suffer from a series of misfortunes and tragedies. One of the most notable examples is the case of Evelyn Walsh McLean, a wealthy American socialite who purchased the diamond in the early 1900s. McLean suffered from a string of personal tragedies, including the death of her son, her husband's affair, and the eventual loss of her fortune. Another famous story associated with the Hope Diamond curse involves a man named James Todd, who allegedly stole the diamond from a Hindu temple in India in the mid-1800s. Todd was said to have been cursed by the priests of the temple, and he later died in poverty and obscurity. Despite the many stories and legends associated with the Hope Diamond curse, there is little scientific evidence to support the idea that the diamond is actually cursed. However, some people still believe in the curse and are hesitant to own or wear the diamond for fear of the supposed bad luck and misfortune it brings. Today, the Hope Diamond is on display at the Smithsonian National Museum of Natural History in Washington, D.C., and is one of the most famous and valuable diamonds in the world. The Crying Boy Painting The Crying Boy Painting is a piece of art that has been the source of a supposed curse for several decades. The painting depicts a young boy with tears streaming down his face, and it gained popularity in the 1950s and 1960s as a popular print in British homes. According to the legend surrounding the painting, a series of house fires occurred in homes where the painting was displayed. In each case, the painting survived the fire unscathed, leading some to believe that the painting was cursed and that it caused the fires. There are several variations of the story surrounding the curse of the Crying Boy painting. Some people believe that the painting is cursed because it was created by an artist who lost his own son in a tragic accident. Others believe that the painting is cursed because the boy depicted in the painting was a real child who died in a fire. Despite the various versions of the story, there is no concrete evidence to support the idea that the Crying Boy painting is actually cursed. In fact, some experts have suggested that the curse is simply a superstition or an urban legend that has been perpetuated over time. However, the legend of the curse has persisted, and many people have reportedly burned or destroyed their own copies of the Crying Boy painting out of fear of the supposed curse. Today, the painting is considered a curiosity and a novelty item, and it continues to be the subject of discussion and speculation among those interested in the paranormal and supernatural. The Annabelle Doll The Annabelle Doll is a famous haunted doll that is believed by many to be cursed. The doll gained notoriety through the horror movie series, The Conjuring, and is said to be possessed by the spirit of a young girl who died tragically. According to legend, the Annabelle Doll was first given to a young nursing student named Donna in the 1970s. Donna and her roommate Angie began to notice that the doll was moving on its own and leaving handwritten notes around their apartment. They eventually sought the help of a psychic medium, 
who informed them that the doll was possessed by the spirit of a young girl named Annabelle Higgins, who had died in the apartment complex where they lived. After experiencing a series of terrifying incidents with the doll, Donna and Angie decided to contact paranormal investigators Ed and Lorraine Warren for help. The Warrens took possession of the doll and placed it in their occult museum in Connecticut, where it remains to this day. Over the years, many people have claimed to have experienced strange and terrifying events in connection with the Annabelle doll. Some people have reported seeing the doll move on its own or witnessing strange apparitions in its presence. Others have claimed to have suffered from unexplained accidents or illnesses after coming into contact with the doll. While there is no scientific evidence to support the idea that the Annabelle doll is actually cursed, many people continue to believe in the legend and fear the doll. Today, the Annabelle doll is considered one of the most famous and infamous haunted objects in the world, and it continues to inspire fascination and terror in those who hear its story. The Dybbuk Box the Dybbuk box is a wine cabinet that is believed by many to be cursed or haunted. The box gained notoriety in the early 2000s when it was listed for sale on eBay and the seller included a story about the box being haunted by a Dybbuk, a malevolent spirit from Jewish folklore. According to legend, the box was owned by a Holocaust survivor named Havila, who brought it with her when she immigrated to the United States. Havila's granddaughter later inherited the box and began to experience a series of strange and terrifying events after opening it, including nightmares, mysterious illnesses, and unexplained accidents. After trying unsuccessfully to get rid of the box, the granddaughter decided to sell it on eBay, where it was purchased by a man named Kevin Manis. Manis experienced a series of bizarre and frightening events after acquiring the box, including strange smells, inexplicable bruises, and the appearance of mysterious symbols on his walls. The legend of the Dybbuk box has since grown, with many people claiming to have experienced strange or terrifying events after coming into contact with the box. Some people believe that the box is cursed or haunted by a malevolent spirit, while others believe that it is simply a hoax or a fabrication. Despite the controversy surrounding the Dybbuk box, many people continue to be fascinated by its story and it remains one of the most famous and infamous haunted objects in the world. Whether it is actually cursed or simply the product of superstition and urban legend, the Dybbuk box continues to inspire fear and curiosity in those who hear its story. The Bassano Vase The Bassano Vase is a decorative vase that is rumored to be cursed or haunted. The vase has a long and mysterious history that dates back to the Italian Renaissance and it is said to have caused misfortune and tragedy for many of its owners over the years. According to legend, the Bassano vase was created by a group of Italian craftsmen in the 15th century. The vase was said to be so beautiful that it caught the eye of a wealthy Venetian merchant named Giovanni d'Alban near, who purchased it and brought it back to his home. Shortly after acquiring the vase, d'Alban near was killed in battle and the vase was passed down through his family over the years. Many of the vase's owners reported experiencing misfortune and tragedy in connection with the vase, including illness, accidents, and financial ruin. The vase eventually came into the possession of an English family named the Bassanos, who claimed to have experienced a series of strange and terrifying events after acquiring the vase. According to legend, Members of the Bassano family were haunted by ghostly apparitions and plagued by unexplained illnesses and accidents, all of which were attributed to the curse of the Bassano vase. Despite the many stories and legends surrounding the Bassano vase, there is little evidence to support the idea that it is actually cursed or haunted. Many experts believe that the vase's reputation for causing misfortune and tragedy is simply the result of superstition and coincidence. Today, the Bassano vase remains one of the most famous and infamous cursed objects in the world, and it continues to inspire fear and fascination in those who hear its story. Whether the vase is truly cursed or simply the victim of superstition and folklore, it remains a symbol of mystery and intrigue that has captured the imagination of generations of people. In conclusion, objects that are cursed have fascinated and terrified people for centuries. Whether they are beautiful jewels or spooky dolls, these objects have captured our imaginations and sparked countless stories of horror and tragedy. 
While some may dismiss these legends as superstition or myth, the power of belief and the human tendency to create meaning from our experiences ensure that these cursed objects continue to intrigue and scare us. So next time you come across an object with a dark and mysterious past, remember the stories of these cursed objects and tread carefully. You never know what kind of curse or misfortune might be lurking just beneath the surface.